y'all back on the grind uh, right now I'm putting in these piston rings this is a top ring and I said I'm in each cylinder these are brand new um, so what I'm doing is I'm putting them in about an inch I got these new flat top piston rings that I had installed on my current 5.3 rings um, but what I was told by my machinist is set them in about an inch in the bore and so what I'm doing is I'm putting in this piston and I'm pushing them in about an inch, making sure they're even all the way around so I can get a good good measurement uh, on that end gap there. So right now they've all fallen within spec of uh, GM from the factory. I've debated on going bigger uh, because I know it's recommended to run those end gaps bigger if you decide to turbo it. And I am not sure if I'm gonna turbo it or not. I've debated. Um, I heard the end gaps need to be a little bit bigger uh, if you're running boosts, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I'll probably just leave them right now. Um, but who knows? Anyways, I'm going everything pretty much off this LS1 or LS manual that I have. It's my first build, so I at least want to make sure I'm doing everything right. But anyways, that's what I'm doing. Uh, putting it all together. New pistons, flat top. And uh, yeah, all going good. I like that one.